Hello guys, uh, welcome to the book flipper. Today we're gonna flip through uh, two of my two of the game related art books I have. Uh, first is the the world of the Witcher. Um, so this is it's called the video game companion, but it's uh, uh, so it's not an art book, but it has a lot of art in it. But uh, it's more like a, like more like a lower book. Uh, and the second one is um, this is a proper art book. It's the Art of Bioshock Infinite. Uh, these two are some of the best games I've played, uh, especially Witcher 3: The Wild Hunt is the best game that I've played. Um, if you, if you plan to play, just play it. I, I never played one or two. I just played three directly, and I fell in love with it. I played it twice probably have three four hundred hours in it um, so let's just quickly go through it so here it is the world of the witcher that's the front cover that's the spine uh, both of these are published by dark horse and that's the back cd project red an amazing company um, next game they are working on is cyberpunk 2077 very much looking forward to it. Um, here's the retail price. And here's the. Uh, you can pause the video here if you want to quickly read about the book. So I'm not going to flip through all the pages, just some of them. So as you can see, there's small pieces of artwork and then it, it's a lot of lore, uh, a lot of uh, detailed references. If you want to understand what the world of The Witcher is, this is really good. Also, although the book, the topic's a little bit jumbled, they are here and there, but it's still, it's a, it's a good read. Uh, I haven't read the full book, I just read the topics I wanted to know about and I just uh, looked through the art and some of it's really nice. So look at that beautiful very very beautiful that's our boy Geralt of Rivia in the game he looks more like that so if you guys don't know a witcher is like a like a person with special abilities um, and they hunt monsters right and they are contract killers so usually uh, usually if a village has an issue with a monster uh, they, they, they post a note that they need that they need a witcher to take care of it and then he comes and takes care of it uh, that's just simply putting it uh, but the stories get much complicated when you find out that sometimes the monster is not the monster the humans are the real monster so that's why a witcher carries two swords. Um, one is a steel sword for the humans and one is a silver sword for the monsters. Oh, that's pretty good. I hate these guys in the game. They they, have, they live in the muddy areas and they come and throw, uh, throw stuff on you that blinds you. Oh, I anyone hate these ones. These are like uh, like ghosts, and they they like teleport behind you and annoyingly hit you. So that is a younger picture of one of the main characters of the game called Siri. Uh, we are looking for Siri in the game. And that's the Wild Hunt, uh, the main villain. It looks, the art looks good if you want to see that. Very, very beautiful. Oh, that's, that's nice. So this is how Geralt looked in the games, in the early games, like Witcher 1, Witcher 2. Here. So there's the virtual game stuff. Oh here, yeah. so this is how it looks in the in the newer games. 
So you see he has a, he has a two swords. Uh, so witchers are not they're just not random people. They are like kids who are taken away at very young age and then train them like 70, 60 percent of the kids die in the training and then uh, only the rest are able to become the witcher. So that's the world of the witcher. Now let's quickly go through Bioshock Infinite. That's the front cover, that's the spine, again this one is by uh, Dark Horse and then this one is not hardcover uh, but I got this from Loot Vault which is like a loot crate website where they sell like that extra stuff I guess and I got it for pretty cheap like 10-20 bucks and uh, I played Bioshock and I really liked it so I was like why not let's get it and it's, it's a beautiful game, it's a really beautiful game. And the story is really good too. It's like one of those uh, very, um, very high concept. Like it gets gets very high concept at the end, uh, like about uh, different universes and how how your choices matter, kind of thing. So this this is like a fully art book. So there is no, not much written stuff here. So that's, those are some character designs for one of the main characters, Elizabeth. That's the songbird. Really cool stuff in the game. So how different character designs, how they come to be, how they get developed, some some notes and some uh, description. So Bioshock Infinite, if you guys haven't played it, uh, it's about um, it's about this city in the sky, or more like a country in the sky. It's like a floating country where. Our antagonist, I forgot his name, he has to go there to save Elizabeth. So Elizabeth is what the, the girl I showed you, she has special powers and her his mission is to bring her back to the ground. And the story takes a lot of twists and turns and the ending just like blows my mind. So that's that's like the sky hook. So the, so the floating city has like these freight lines running all across. And you can hook to them and like uh, travel to different places. The guns of the game, the weapons. Oh, that's, that's a nice one. So yeah, it's, if this was hardcover, you could like see this, see this work more nicely. Like here in the softcore, you have this cutter loss, but it looks really amazing. If you want to read the description about it, you can pause the video right here. But anyways, um, here you go, guys. Uh, thank you very much for watching to the watching the video. Um, if you go to my channel, there's more videos about different books. And thank you very much, and have a good day.